Okay, this is going to be another soft plastics making video. I got a brand new mold in. Um, it's a little swim bait. It's similar to the Lake Fork Magic Shad, and then there's a bait that uh, Gary Yotamoto makes um, that's very similar to this bait. And um, I got some new colorant. Um, white pearl and some chartreuse glitter. I'm going to make some white pearl with chartreuse flake in it. This is going to be a dynamite. I think this mold right here is going to be a dynamite chatterbait uh, trailer, spinnerbait trailer. Good on the underspin but especially good and the reason why I'm making these things. Um, I'm going to uh, OH Ivy in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be fishing some Alabama rig action and I'm going to make my own trailers. I've already made some in watermelon red. Um, now I'm going to use my new mold to make me some little swim baits for my Alabama rig. So um, I'm going to go cook the plastic and I'll see you back here in a second. For years um, we've been using like a little pin or even some dip it dye to put chartreuse. So I thought, well, why not just go ahead and add some chartreuse flake to this pearl white uh, colorant I'm using here. So I'm going to be using uh, two sizes of chartreuse um, glitter in this in this thing, a little one and a and, and uh, the large one. So let's start out with about a quarter, maybe in a, a little quarter and a half small. Yeah, that's probably good enough. And then I'm going to use two full large ones. And let's mix it up and see how this looks. I'm just doing this by feel. I'm going to go ahead and mix it in. If I think I need a little bit more, I will add it. This is my first run of this color. And uh, with these flakes in it, so we're going to see what, what it comes out to. Uh, it looks like I may need a little bit more. A little bit more than that. Let's go ahead and add uh, another spoon of this of the big. Let's go a spoon and a half. And just go a full spoon of the small. Okay, let's mix it in now. I heated this up to about 360, so it would give me a little bit of time to do some mixing in. Like I said, I like to heat it just a little bit hotter before I put the, if I got some flakes, I got a bunch of flakes to mix in. Okay, this looks, this looks better right here. Yeah, I can see the pearl in here. I kind of guessed on how much pearl to put in. I may have put a little too much actually in this one. I'm going to do a drop count on, the, on some of the other baits I'm going to make in this little series I'm doing for, for it. But the first color I'm going to make is this chartreuse uh, pearl white. All right, let's go ahead and back this up a little bit. And we get the glove because this does get hot. There we go. Oh crap, missed the hole. That's what happened. Spills on the side. Top all these off, especially this one because I don't know if I, this one will come out good in the end. All 
All right, let's give these about 15, 20 minutes to cool down. I'll top these off one more time. Okay, this is gonna be a take two. I think I used way too much pearl the last time. This, this version of it, I'm gonna use a mixtured version. The last version, I just kind of squirted it at the end until I thought it looked right, and I think I used way too much. That's how I do black. I, when I did um, some South African special for Mike McFarland, I just put black into it until it looked right, but um, that didn't really work out with this pearl white. It, I think I just used too much of it. It's okay, but I think I can do better. Now, this is going to be approximately 40 drops, and I say approximately because uh, this pearl white color is a lot thicker than the other colorants I've been using, and it kind of, kind of, uh, the, the drops don't look the same coming out of it. So I've got approximately 40 drops in this thing. So now I'm going to add the glitter again. And th that should have been a clue last time that I had to use so much glitter to even see it that I used too much colorant. There's one spoon of the big, and I'm, I'm going to go a half, a half of one. Now we're going to do a whole spoon of the little. And I'm going to mix it in and see what that looks like. See, I can already tell that by looking at it, I can see the glitter more than I could even see when I used so much of it in the last run. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more big in there. Just a touch a little. So I'm going to call it two and a half uh, spoons of large glitter and a spoon and a half of, and I'm using like an eighth of, eighth of a teaspoon spoon. So that's what you're looking at to get it. And this looks, this looks really good here. This looks a lot better than the last run. And I'll show you the difference. I kept some of the plastics from the last run. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and add some more plaster salt, see if I can water the other one down and still use it. But I'm trying to make the best possible. And this looks really, really good here. We're going we're gonna to shoot some more. Again, we're going to shoot some of this new swim bait I got. And we're going to shoot some, some uh, flute style baits as well. Like I said, I'm going to be using this on OH Ivy in a couple of weeks, so I'm looking forward to using this on my Alabama rig. You're going to make a few more colors, and I'll actually put those on the air, too, so we can see what those look like. Okay, I'm going to stand up for this one because that you can see that you saw a while ago that it was hard to get in that hole sitting down, because I usually don't shoot these sitting down. going to do that one. I may not have may I not have had enough to do a full run on the second one. I have to get my second injector. I just want to do one for this one and one for the new swim bait molds. If you guys can think of a name for the for these new new these new uh, swim baits let me know. I want it to be like some of you saw some of the other names I've been giving my bait or associated with uh, coves and spots at Lake Fork. I'm going to do these two. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to name these. This new uh, bait that I'm making right here. So like I said, let's give this 15 minutes and we'll do a comparison. One of them was just like I said, just me f putting color in until I thought it looked good and pearly white. And the other, this one here is a controlled one with approximately 40 drops. So we'll see how which one came out better. That The 40 drops looks like it's not quite enough. It's The tails of these are kind of translucent still. 
um, versus, you know, where it's got completely white, which I kind of like, I do like the one where I just kind of guessed at the amount better than the control one. So I'm going to remelt these down and uh, add um, 40 more drops of the pearl, a little bit more of the big uh, chartreuse flakes because they're not coming in really well. And here are the flukes, the same thing. You can see how more translucent the 40 drops is to the one I just guessed. I want it somewhere in the middle between these two, so I'm going to add, like I said, I'm going to add 40 more drops. Okay, you can't, I took a picture of the three differences between the three uh, formulas I used, but you really couldn't tell the difference by the picture. But what I ended up going with was the 80 drops. Now, if I was going to uh, do a white pearl and I wanted the flakes to show up a little bit better, I might go with the 40. That's what I'm going to try next. Next time I do like a, I think I'm going to try this with a, I think if I try to do like a glimmer blue um, version of this, I think I'll probably use the 40 drops instead of the 80, because uh, I think it may, will, will make your, your flake show up a little bit better, because this is pretty thick stuff. Um, you know, this is, I, this is four cups worth. You see, I've got these flukes, and I've got a whole bunch of these. And I think these are going to be dynamite um, chatterbait baits. Um, I'm definitely going to be using them down at uh, OHIV on, on my Alabama rig. Um, I'm probably going to make a few colors in these. I'm going to do a watermelon red, watermelon candy. And I, like I said, I'm also going to do try to reproduce the glimmer blue with the blue flake and the silver flake in it. Um, like I said, I'll probably use the lighter uh, mixture on this. But... I did all three of them, and, you know, the 80 and the one I just did by feel were pretty close together. I like the 80 just a tad bit better. Like I said, I wish the picture could have showed, because I took a picture of all three uh, ones, and you really couldn't tell the difference to them in the picture, but you can with the naked eye. Um, you know, I just really like the color of this came out. You know, it's got almost a sexy shaddish looking at it you know look to it it's got a lot you can see a lot of the white and you can see the chartreuse going through there um that's one thing that the little flake does it, it kind of instead of just showing up as little flakes sometimes it will uh change the col coloration of the bait and that's what that did there and uh i really like this i think i'll be able to use it down at uh OH Ivy and at Fork on my chatter baits and spinner baits. This is a really good bait for for those too as a trailer. Um, might be good on an underspin. I'll have to try that as well. Um, but I really like this color. I'm like I said, I will be using it a lot on some of my spinner baits, chatter baits, this Alabama rig, and maybe even underspin. So until next time, tie lines.